clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. In addition, killing the Thresher Maw has produced several breeding requests for Grunt and one for Shepard. <laughs> Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where did you freaking I better have put in that thing when we were leaving Tijanka for the breeding request for Grunt and one for Shepard. I was like, oh boy, I impressed a dude out there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Don't even want to go <laughs> there. Don't even want to go there. Guarantee you some people would. I don't know about that. Ah, that's so funny though. I was I, I was laughing really hard. I was like, oh man. I was glad I started the recording because I was like, okay, let's go back and um, do the research terminal really quick. Turns out I forgot that I also have shotgun extra rounds, but I need more platinum. So I've been mining for like the last like 10 minutes or so. Uh, let's see. We can try this planet. But yeah, uh, oh, also I wanted to say that if the recording in the last bit was like a little bit dull or dark, it's because sometimes the only game that I'm currently playing on my 360 for this is the, uh, is Mass Effect 2. And so I forget sometimes to change the setting from other, from, on the like Elgato back to the 360. So sometimes that causes problems in the recording. I think that was what, that was what happened. Cause I was looking at it and I was like, that's kind of dark looking, but I don't need iridium. I really don't. I just need platinum. Alright, we're going to have to go to a different system for a minute. Vranic is close by. Ooh, what's this one? This looks cool. There are like five visible moons. Rothla. Once Rathal was a large ice dwarf with the statistics of below. In the waning years of the Chrome Rebellions, it was shattered into fields of debris that was assumed to have been the test of an exotic weapon system. In the wake of the event, the planetary was reduced to a relatively contained field of thousands of tiny moonlets rotating around one another, colliding and ricocheting. The method used to destroy the planetoid has never been deduced. The Krogan planet performed the experiment, apparently all died in the event. Ships that have traveled to the edge of the event's light cone observed a moment of extreme gravitational lensing around Rothla immediately before its breakup, but no other clues. A popular extranet meme put forward by a sorry author, I remember this, Delce Orthysia, insists that the Turians are covering up the existence of a Krogan superbiotic breed that was genetically engineered within Rothla. The CDEM enforces quarantine around Rothla Field, citing cases of amateur investigators whose ships came to grief in the debris field. Nice. <laughs> by like just a tiny bit just a teeny tiny bit we got enough uh, i was wanting those in the last battle i was like where's when will i ever get the shotgun extra rounds apparently i had it i just needed to Woo! i'm so excited I'm so excited. Oh, let I also wanted this was actually this is why I came back was to Yes, reallocate my points. We okay? We okay with that? Come on, game. Okay. Wow, forty eight points. Uh, I was champion, I remember. And charge, I did the tactical charge. Uh huh. Yes. And. Okay, so I have to put a point, two points into incendiary ammo to get cryo ammo. Energy drain, we had three. Ah, uh, ooh. I want cryo ammo. And I'm gonna get the. I was thinking about this very intensely earlier uh, about the improved cryo ammo or the squad ammo. Um, actually, no. I was gonna get the squad cryo ammo. I think. Yeah, I want to get the squad cryo ammo. Um, and then just put what I have to in a shockwave to get pulled. Okay. Cool. 
this is going to work out really well. Yeah, I like this. I mean, it's into your most fun, but if I'm going to be bringing Grunt out a lot now, um, he has incendiary ammo that I can get fully upgraded, and it's really cool, <laughs> the one he has, uh, which is like, I was going to give him the, like, one that's like, uh, like the fully upgraded incendiary ammo that is, oh, what is it, um, the inferno ammo. So, and I figure, well, I'll give myself the squad for the cryo, the squad cryo, cryo ammo. And then, oh, wait, no, I didn't, actually, no, I didn't want to do squad cryo ammo because each one has, hmm, that's actually, shoot, because, like, because uh, everyone has their own ammo, their own specialty. Shoot, all right, I'm redoing that. Ha 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 ha. I have enough to do it, so it's no big deal. Shoot, I like gave a whole lot of thought to this, but then I realized I got stuck back in the one that I, a previous decision that I had rewritten in my head, so. Heavy charge, I am a champion. Energy drain got three. Okay, we are doing the improved cryo ammo. And then, perfect, this is perfect, this is perfect, this is perfect. All right, all right, I'm loving this. This is gonna be good. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me make sure I did heavy. Uh-huh. My reaction to speed is increased. Okay, perfect. How exciting. Okay, so that was a big one I wanted to do. Oh, and we need to talk to Grunt. We need to talk to Grunt. Talk to my boy. And I, for me, uh, I don't know why I feel like it's okay to like do Miranda's later when I'm on Ilium, but when I'm here, I'm like, okay, when I do, I, when I do Grunts, I always do Mortens. All like what two times I'd done it before this, <laughs> but it just I don't know, it just feels right somehow. Grunt, oh, we can check out your new uh, armor. armor. I like it. I have a clan that makes me. It makes me want to fight, not just able to. Ah, yes. At Uvink. I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. Um, I think I... Oh, I did this last time, I think, but I understand where... I understand more now where he's coming from, but... We started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as he a has Krogan. a place and a purpose. I like it. Our enemies and he, are as a Krogan, shepherd, and we better not run out of targets. There's no danger of that. <laughs> practically lining up. Everyone gets a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't want it any other way. Yeah, Grunt. <laughs> shepherd. How's it going? Oh, do you anything in your tank? We already did that, that didn't we? Use of the resources we found. Nothing else I can think of. I'm no tech. Enjoy what you've got. Okay, I think... Let's check... What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push our enemies to the edge of space, then step on their fingers one at a <laughs> time until the void takes them. Nice, I like it. Did Okir give you any imprints? You already know more than he did. Okir's is barely useful. If you fight them, hit them hard the first time. Mm, okay. What are your thoughts about our mission? We'll push oh, okay. our enemies to the edge for now. Shepherd. No. Nope. Shepherd. Okay, okay. Just checking in. How are you doing? Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. Okay. That's all for now. Shepherd. He's a, he's just being a teenager, you know? He's just like, I wanna talk. I don't wanna talk. Why don't you understand me? Help me out with this thing. But don't talk to me later. <gasps> Please? 
Please? Did I get too close? I might have gotten too close. I might have gotten too close. Oh, uh, should we talk to Tally really quick? Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come on, you little bush tap. <laughs> oh, sorry. I've got a small fever, oh. but I'm taking it out on the port drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. Uh. Well, she said it's nothing serious, and why do you guys? We know why she gets sick, but uh, uh all right. You're sick. Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry. It won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. Ah, so now we're getting a chance to talk to Tally more. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator oh Presley Oh my gosh, she had Presley? Chickenpox? He had chickenpox? I wouldn't pox? get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. Yee. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid Yikes. mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship oh, or a hull It's a very it complicated system! that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our she knows so much about her people. Life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. The Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't have all been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune systems. Uh, so they used to be very adaptable. Even if we colonized the new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. Jeez, okay. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first, and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that, though. Except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally. And I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I'd be honored to link suits with you, Shepard. Oh, thank you, you know, if you were a Korean, <laughs> we weren't already on a suicide mission. I'm There's... going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. She's so cute. Uh, we should maybe go check on everyone really quick, actually. Those that we've done, anyway. Uh, yeah, no, we're suit sisters, Tally and I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think she spent, oh, she spent most of her life being kind of isolated, probably not trusting a whole lot of people that intimately because of kind of who her dad is. And she's had to grow up quickly, you know, so she didn't get to, like, become, like, probably super childhood friends with anybody, you know? She probably have friends, just not the same way. It's like growing up rich or growing up famous or something. I would assume. But I miss talking to these people. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Okay. Maybe another time. 
So we're doing, uh, Normandy? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Okay. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. All right. All right. Let's talk to Garrus. Garrus! If you say you're calibrating, I'm going to punch you. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time. Anyway. Oh, right, we could do this! Charges, planning attack vectors, you know, relaxing. I'm still trying to figure out how to prepare for this mission. Humans don't deal with stress the way Turians do. We could ease stress together! No! Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. I don't know, I know I've heard this I'm before. Regardless. I could just talk over it, but I don't know, I just... Like, I find myself leaning forward like Shepard and just, like, listening and make just... I don't know, catching the nuances in their voices and stuff. I don't Thanks know. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. I don't know. Let's go talk to my favorite person. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> 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 Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha. But any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you? You are well? No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. We owe ourselves a memorable vacation. We should pick a destination. There must be some travel brochures in the ship's computer. I would very much like to see a desert. <sighs> I just... I'm just smiling. Ah, I'm such a nerd. Such a nerd. Kasumi. Hey, got a minute? Obviously. I'm really glad you got yeah. tired of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Still, after all this time... I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. What? I need to go poke, um... Joker. Because I was a fool and I missed Thanes and Garrus's, my two favorite guys. <laughs> I, I really should just go up there every after every mission, but I was for a while, and then things got out of whack. I just kind of stopped doing it. I don't know. Let's check my private terminal. Oh, let's see what she has to say. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right okay, now. Okay, bye-bye. Anything else, Commander? Bye-bye. Uh, That'll be all. Bye-bye. Uh, Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, Aw, oh, I didn't get any emails from Rex. Rex. You should be pen pals now. Joker, buddy, old pal. <laughs> What's going on? You know, Commander, I'm not real broke up that Rex isn't coming. <laughs> I'm good with our current amount of headbutting. I'd say we're at headbutting capacity. <laughs> okay, had a bit of an interruption there, but headbutting capacity. What do you mean? We could have maybe. I mean, Grunt's the only one who can actually headbutt. The Turian shell is actually kind of soft, I think. It's not actually very hard. So, but there, it's, it's harder than human skin, but it's softer than you think it would be. I think. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it See, for now. See, most people would See say that as a joke, but he I'm pretty sure he means it. <laughs> you know, he could be joking because he jokes about his condition sometimes. 
But usually his jokes about his condition are actually legit. So it's like, oh, oh, uh, seriously? <laughs> you alright there? I don't know why Shepard's like looking to the right. That's a bit weird. Commander, can I help you with Oh, something? I like that suit! I'm more interested in just talking for a minute. Shepard is so I'm good, Shepard. creepy. <laughs> Ready for anything. I love it! We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. <laughs> That is why I really like Jacob, is that little moment right there is is awesome. It's like, hey, I'm ready for anything. We'll li we live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks. And they do like a handshake. I love it. I love it. We'll talk later. Commander. Jacob. I like it. I do like Jacob. I do, I do. No messages for you, Commander. <laughs> Oh, let's check, uh, uh, oh, team status, that's what Good, yeah, okay. See, I really like that one, except you can't see his eyes. And that's, like, Cerberus colors, I'm like, eh. <laughs> I really like that one, we'll keep him in that one for a while. Oh boy, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, buddy. Mm. All right, we are gonna go do mornings now. We took a brief detour out of the system, but nothing that can't be resolved quickly. I was thinking I might shake up the like personal personal missions, the loyalty missions with like little like normal missions in between, but I think I'm what I want to do is just get everyone's loyalty and then just run around doing the smaller missions, like side missions, and just kind of getting a feel for the team configuration I like because as much as I like Grunt and Thane as my, like, go-to guys, like, that was on normal difficulty when the enemies weren't all armored or shielded, you know? So it made a difference. But I think we're gonna bring Grunt on this... Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, we're bringing Morden. I, f I feel like Rex said something to Garrus before, but I, I don't know why he didn't this time. You know what would be a fun team is Morden and Thane, or an interesting team anyway, it would be Morden and Thane. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that, I'm just, let's just do it, yes, let's do it. I keep pressing the X to confirm squad, because I'm pretty sure that's what you press in Dragon Age Inquisition. So yeah, he's got Shredder ammo, so. Uh, shoe lane. Have a cryo blast. Yeah, look at me, I'm perfect. Oh my gosh, I freaking I cannot. It's gonna take ages though. To get his warp up. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Both have the locust, but one has the hand cannon and one has a cyber rifle. And what are we going to be doing? Missile launcher. Or should we play with the... Let's play with the arc projector. Because I'm pretty sure everything's going to be in close quarters. And the arc projector's cool. Flash your smooth skin somewhere else. 
What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Mm. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, I, feel I think if you bring Grunt again and talk to that guy, he'll say something to Grunt, but I can't remember. again I don't think he'll say anything different but Shepard what can I do for you my friend I'm looking for a Salarian he was captured by the blood pack and brought here my scout commander can direct you he's probably near the perimeter running target practice don't take too much of his time I need a constant watch on the other clans I need to go we'll go over this another time Hunt well, Shepard. And you, Rex. And you. 